Today we'll be talking about the Dragon Board, Aero Electronics' contribution to the Lenaro Group's 96 Boards movement. 96 Boards is an open specification to define an ecosystem of low-cost, small footprint boards. They're all based on an ARM Cortex-A core, and they have standardized I.O. buses and interface placement. The boards may all look different, but the interfaces are all in the exact same place on every compliant board. This means that the hardware developed for one board can be used with any of the boards. This makes it very appealing to everyone from makers sharing ideas to OEMs that want to ensure all products are cross-compatible. The Dragon Board is this little guy, barely the size of a deck of cards. But don't let the size fool you. It uses the Snapdragon 410 core from Qualcomm, which is one of their mid-tier quad-core processors, found in several consumer devices like mobile phones. The Dragon Board supports Android 5.1, Linux based on Debian, and Windows 10. In keeping with Lenara's vision for truly open source hardware, the schematics and BOM for this board are freely available online. This is where the beauty of a dedicated community working in open source comes in. There are detailed guides for loading any of these operating systems via host computer or micro SD card. And the latest vanilla rescue version of each is always available on 96boards.org. This is great when you want to swap between operating systems or maybe unbrick your beloved board after getting a little fancy with your distro mods. Out of the box, the Dragon Board comes preloaded with Android. This means if you have a power supply, a USB keyboard and mouse, and an HDMI monitor, bam, you have a computer. The Dragon Board will connect to your Wi-Fi, and the same Qualcomm Vive connectivity module gives you Bluetooth and FM capabilities as well. There's a separate GPS module that lets you use the same location-based tools that you have access to when you're developing for Android on a mobile phone. The GPU on here obviously gives us great graphics, and we can play videos up to 1080p with no hesitation. As a software development platform, this can already hold its own pretty well. You've got a high-speed processor running the open source OS of your choice, and plenty of memory on board between the 1 gig of low-power DDR3, 8 gig of eMMC, and the micro SD card slot. The GPU supports fun things like OpenCL and Direct3D. You can run and even develop games on this guy. However, it's the hardware expansion abilities of this board that I think really set it apart. The Dragon Board exposes two expansion connectors to us, one high speed and one low speed, 60 and 40 pins respectively. It's ready to support a camera up to 16 megapixels. There's a footprint on here where you could solder down an additional analog interface for things like speakers, stereo line out, analog in, or other analog devices. For those of us that live and die by the Arduino, yes, the board can in fact be made Arduino compatible with an add-on mezzanine board. The opportunities of this little board are limitless, and at $79, I would argue it's worth a spot on your desk, whether you need to actually prototype using the Snapdragon cores, or you just want to explore the abilities of an open source board and an environment centered around something maybe a little beefier than that mega. For more information and to order the Dragon board or any of the peripherals mentioned in this video, please visit us online at arrow.com. Thanks for watching.